Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 16 editing tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the video and text effects. It's really easy to do. You can do this inside of the edit tab or the fusion tab. But today I'm going to be showing you how to do it inside of the edit tab. I find it to be much quicker and easier to do. The only downside to doing it inside of the edit tab is there is a few limitations. In Infusion, you can keep building onto it and create something extremely customizable. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to grab a couple of clips. I've already pre-selected them, so I'm just going to click and drag into the timeline. And I'm just going to grab this clip and I'm going to put it right next to it. As you can see, this needs a bit of a color correction, so I'm just going to go into the color tab and do this very quickly. Okay, so my clips are now color corrected. So let's just select these two clips. Let's bring it up to video two. So now let's go to the effects library and let's go and add titles. I'm just going to give it a normal title. I might just um, hide the video two layer for now. I'm gonna highlight my text layer and I'm going to, then I'm going to go to the inspector tab and I'm just gonna change it to something like tutorial. So I'm just gonna change the font to something a bit bigger like impact. Yeah. And I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit too much. About there is fine. And I'm just gonna drag it out to the length of my two clips. So I just selected my first clip and now I'm going to go to the inspector tab and go down to composite mode and change that to multiply. And I'm going to do the same to the next clip, go down to multiply. So if the framing is not where you want it to be, you can just go into your clip and go to transform and let's just fix it up a little bit. So I'm just going to zoom out a little and I'm going to adjust the Y axis just so I can see the talent's head. There's fine. I'm going to do the same with this clip as well. I'm going to zoom that out and I'm going to adjust the Y position so I can see a little bit more past the grass. From this point, you can actually leave it here and that's how you can do the video and text effect. But I'm just going to do one more little thing that will make your titles pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to highlight video layer one the text and I'm just gonna go control C and I'm gonna go control V just to duplicate the layer and I'm gonna drag this up to video layer three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, make sure that the top layer is selected, and I'm going to change the color of the stroke to about a gray, a dark gray. And I'm going to adjust the size. So now you can see a little bit of an outline of the tutorial and it's gray. So I'm just going to scroll up to the top. I'm going to go over to video and I'm going to change the composite mode to divide. As you can see, it's given your text a little bit of an edge just to give it a bit more depth and I find that that looks much nicer. So that's how you do the video in text effect. Really quick and easy to do. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next upload and I'll see you guys next time.